web design can be an intimidating process. You have this great big white canvas that you can fill with anything you want, and that is going to be your representation on the World Wide Web. And with all the different programming languages from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP, you could do pretty much anything you want to. So how do you decide what to do with your site? Well, we've got a few tips that will hopefully point you in the right direction and keep your site the best that it can be. First off, whenever possible, use a template. Most major platforms are going to have some sort of template available to you. Some for free, some you gotta pay for. Now, I already hear you. Why would I pay for something that I can get for free? Well, you're not just paying for the template itself and the look of it, you're also paying for the support that comes with it. If you come across any problems while you're getting set up, you could contact the people who built the template and they can help you figure things out. Second, use color responsibly. Few things can make your website pop more than the appropriate use of color. But when you literally have an entire rainbow to choose from, where do you even start? If you went the template route, you're usually gonna have some default colors in there. And it's usually simple enough to just tweak them to match whatever color matches your branding. You always want to represent your branding with your color scheme. If your template doesn't have colors, or if you didn't use a template, there are several resources available for you to find color palettes. One that I recommend that I use a lot is called Color Lovers. There'll be a link down in the description, and it has lots of preset color palettes that other users have submitted. So you can go through and browse them and see what other people have. Or if you're daring, you can even submit your own. 